Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you two very useful lost grid properties. Now, these properties are gonna allow you to build a container around your columns, as well as align the content inside of them, and it makes centering things in the dead center, middle center, really super easy. So check it out, let's get going with these properties right now. So first I want to show you Lost Center. Now Lost Center is a nice little uh, property that comes in handy when making a container. Now in the last videos, uh, we were using this grid one. We told it to be a width of 100% and we had to assign it a Lost Utility for clear fix because uh, the divs with inside of it are being aligned on a grid via floating. However, it's nice to know that this can be taken care of with one line using lost center. Now lost center is essentially just a container element so we can come in here and simply replace this with lost hyphen center. Now we can say 100% save this and if we come back to our page and refresh and if you come back to our page and refresh you'll notice that absolutely nothing has changed. Now what's nice about this container, so it contains a clear fix right, and even though we're passing it in 100%, we could pass it in something like 80%, save this, and like you can guess based on its name, Lost Center, it's going to make sure everything has a margin of auto for uh, the left and right margin. So as you can see, it's really nice to build a container with this. And if we come in here and let's give this a background color of, I'm just going to do like a 333. That way it's a dark gray, dark enough that we can see it. And as you can see, it comes right to the edges of the grid here. So now if we wanted this to be a container with some padding or something, we could come in here and simply just add padding like so by saying like 20 pixels here and refreshing or what we can do is we can actually add this padding built in to the uh, lost center property itself i'm actually going to change this to be a 666 that 333 isn't working out for me it's a little too dark so we can come in here and let's say 20 pixels actually let's make it bigger this time let's say 40 pixels right here so lost center the first property it takes is the width the second property it takes is the padding. And the third property is whether or not you want this to be a flexbox grid or not. Since we're not talking about flexbox grids yet, it's okay. We're just going to leave this as 80% with 40 pixels padding. We can come in here. And as you can see, what it's actually doing is applying padding to the left and right. So in this instance, we would still need to apply padding to the top. Uh, of let's say if we want to do 40 pixels 40 pixels there we go we now have a little container here but as you can see it doesn't necessarily assume when you have padding that you want it to the top and bottom it's just assuming that you want it on the grid itself so there we go we've now had a center container we've done it really nice and easily using this lost center uh, with one line we can get rid of this background and we can get rid of this padding top for now and just leave it with this lost center now it's another helpful property that lost makes really nice and easy to use well there's this lost align property and to illustrate this i'm going to throw some paragraphs inside of a couple of these divs here they're just a paragraph inside of a div. Now let's come and check it out. I just have them uh, so a color white. As you can see, there's not a lot going on. Uh, so let's actually head to our CSS and let's, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna make a uh, new definition here for paragraphs within grid one divs. And I'm gonna first say margin zero. So just to get rid of any sort of margin that paragraph might have on it. Cool. So we now have this text that's appearing in the top left here, where it just sort of where you would normally expect it to appear. But let's say we want this text to appear directly in the center of this div. Not just the center, but the middle center. So middle vertically, center horizontally. Now this could be a tremendous pain just trying to do this normally. Uh, luckily Lost provides us with a really super cool additional property called lost hyphen align. And you'll notice I'm putting this on the container. 
So I'm putting this on the div itself that contains this paragraph text. Now what I'm going to do for the lost line property is first let's just try to give it a property of center. Okay, center will, when you refresh, you can see this puts it in the absolute middle center. Now this is super cool. This is really easy. I mean, it, it saved us a ton of time and let's even just check out exactly what this is doing. I'm going to see in our CSS, we can see that, um, let's scroll down here. It's basically giving everything, giving the immediate child of this div position absolute, uh, top of 50% and then it's translating it negative 50% back up and doing the same thing with the left. So as you can see, it's the like sort of standard technique for putting something in the center at this point. However, I mean, one line text, uh, lost a line center versus having to write all of this. I mean, I will take that any day of the week. So what other things can we pass this? Well, we can really pass this all sorts of things. We can pass it hyphenated positions. So like top hyphen left, and that's probably going to put it exactly where it was. And of course, top right. Okay. What about like top center? There we go. We can even do things like middle left. Cool. And you could even have middle center or you could just have center, which is sort of like a shorthand for that. Or we could even have something like just right. And when we have it just right, you can see it automatically puts it in the center, just puts it on the right. If you want a top right or bottom right, you would just have to specify so with a hyphen. Cool. So this is lost align and lost center, two really super helpful properties that come with lost grid. Uh, just one of the many reasons why I use this all the time. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.